All right, yeah, just just talk about the girls and the way they came out. And I mean, they, they kept it up the entire game. They never slowed down. They did. Um, they just they played fantastic. They executed the game plan. They played together. They defended. They rebounded. Um, they battled every possession. That was our main goal. We knew coming in that they were a very good team. Um, and I, I kind of talked to Joe Pop before the game. Just We've played some teams lately that have a couple good players, but this team I felt like was a really good team. They had a lot of players that could hurt you. And um, I, we, we thought it was important that we battled every single possession. We couldn't leave anybody open. We had to you know, continuously scramble when we had to help. And I thought we never gave up on any plays. Um, we were in the play. If you know they were about to get it, we were right there. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was huge. What do you think it was that, that that got them up? I mean, you're on a three-game losing streak, and I know this is your fifth straight win at home. Yeah. But I mean, was it just coming back home? Like I asked Michaela, you think that's what it was? I think. I mean, their confidence has seemed pretty high. We've had a lot of days of practice in a row, and we've, you know, they're they're hard. You know, we're trying to improve their their skill level individually. We're trying to get them to play better as a team, defensively, offensively, share the ball, teaching them concepts, and. I just feel like a lot of the individual stuff we work we work on is really getting implemented into their games. You know, Courtney Kenner is doing things, and Raven Berry like low post footwork, and Alyssa and Michaela does both, and it's just it's makes us as coaches extremely proud to see them implement it on the floor. You know, when the lights come on. And and um, just you guys end up shooting fifty one percent from the field, outscore mm -hmm. them by twenty in the paint, out rebound them. I mean. These, these are some of the things that sometimes haven't right. been that good. Right. They all came together. Right. Tonight, so. Well, you know, IPFW, the four games leading up to this, they had shot over 50%. Mm -hmm. And so right. for us, we, we knew we couldn't give them easy possessions. If we took a bad shot, we knew that they'd come down. And if we take two bad shots, we're going to make one of them. So our goal was to take a great shot every possession. And I thought our team passed up good shots to get great shots. Um, we had jump shot looks that we didn't shoot. And we were patient, and then we would get a layup. Or we'd get a 15-footer rather than shooting a three. And that's something that we haven't done either. We've been impatient and try to get a big chunk back at once. And I thought we played with a lot of maturity and poise tonight, which is something, you know, earlier in the year we, we didn't do. Do you think maybe I talked to him, you know, with them being in the, um, you know, in the conference and doing so well. And I, I, I talked to him about, do you, do you think maybe they, that, that IPFW was looking past tonight for, for conference games and maybe you guys came out and surprised them early? You know, I'm not sure. I, I don't. I can't answer right. for them. You know, but um, I know that they're in the hunt for a championship, and they're mm -hmm. playing without a, a guard that will really help them when she gets back. Kayla Drake. She's an extremely good player. So, you know, I think for us, every game is important. So for them, you know, being in the hunt, and I think for them, they have a lot of seniors that know how to win. I'm sure every game is important, and they, you know, want to come in, and they, they never quit. They hit big shots in the second half when we were up by 20, when they could have just said, you know, throw in the towel, play for Saturday, and try to win the Summit League. You know what I mean? And they didn't do that. So. You know, I, I respect, I definitely respect their program. I think they're, they're a good team. And talk about Sydney a little bit tonight. I mean, she leads the team in steals, tied in assists, 15, double double, 15 mm -hmm. rebounds, 11 points. Yeah, just her determined, extremely determined kid. And we talk to our team, we use her as an example a lot. Like, you know, you've got to go rebound out of your area, is how we say it. You know, Sid comes and gets the ball, and she wasn't even in the play two seconds ago. So she just is determined. She has a great knack for the ball. Like, she comes up with the ball. She gets her hands on the ball a lot. And defensively, her sense is fantastic off ball. So, you know, I honestly think, like, Courtney's getting some of those tendencies, especially off ball defensively. Mm -hmm. She's really mm -hmm. become, I, I think, fantastic defensively for us. And you look at her stat line, you know, 12 points, four assists, three steals, and 38 minutes, no turnovers. Right. And how much is the ball in her hand? So. You know, those two, when they when they play like that, and we get good bench play, um, you know, bench play when they knock down shots, it's great, but when they come in and give us good minutes and, you know, don't turn the ball over and play defense, I, I think we're a very good team. It's just a matter of getting everybody to play well on the same night. Yeah, kind of, well, one thing when we just said that, with playing well on one night, all five starters make double figures. Yep. Right. And that's the first time all season you've sure. had that. What does it mean to get the balance scoring? It's it's huge. I mean, you can't just go and try to stop Raven or make sure Jazz doesn't get shots. You know, we, we definitely spread the ball around. And um, our goal was to really shoot good shots, not take anything that was questionable. And I think when we did that, they really shared the ball and everybody got their turn. So that made them play extremely, you know, unselfish. How much can, do you think this game can, can springboard um, for the rest of the season now? Well, you know, we still got to come back to practice and work hard and be ready to play SEMO on Monday. You know, they're a team that 
they're kind of like us. They've you know had games where they played really well and games where they've kind of struggled. So mm-hmm. you got to prepare for the team that's going to play really well. And you know that's a new day. And they can come out and guns a blazing, kind of like we did tonight. And we got to be prepared to right. match that intensity and be aggressive. And you know this needs to kind of be our standard now and what we expect to play like and and come out Monday. And then you know playing Tennessee Tech Tuesday, they're leading the conference. They're a very good team. So and it's a short turnaround for our team. So it'll be interesting to see how we respond with such little preparation. But it, it'll be a great. Um, a great experience for our team before we go to Florida Gulf Coast because we're going to have to do that three days in a row. So this yeah. will be the first time we do it, so we'll see how it goes. Okay. okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you.